Hey girl, hey, got your coffee? I wasn't sure if you liked your cream in your coffee, so I got cream on the side for you. No, actually, I like my coffee black. Black and strong and free from cream. Okay, cool. So what's been up? I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Oh, so much is going on. They are literally trying to kill me up there. It's just been absolutely crazy. Tracy, here's a task for you. Can you please tell Miss Morris that I have no time or interest in talking to her today? Oh, and if she asks, I won't have any time or interest in any days moving forward. Yeah, see, here's the thing. I don't know her, so you yeah, know. Seriously, Trinice, what the hell is the issue? I did nothing to you. Can you also tell her that, although she may not have done anything to me directly, she is fully aware of what she has done. Did you get all that? Look, here's a notebook, sweetie. She sounds like she just getting started. You know what, Trinice? Fuck it. I am not about to stand here and take this. Well, bitch, have several seats because you're going to take it the same way you made Sean take it. Trinice, that's neither here nor there. Well, where in the hell is it? Because the way I see it, you hurt someone I care about. You were disloyal, dishonest, and just as fickle as a white woman. I am a white woman. Exactly. And if you did that to him, what would stop you from betraying my black ass? Just shut the hell up. You don't know everything, you know? And contrary to popular black belief, not everything has to do with race. Sean being black had less to do with it than me simply making a bad decision. So shut your mouth and just listen! What? You thought that they were the only ones that had their inner moments? I'm really sorry. Don't tell that to me. Tell that to him. I tried that already and got nowhere. Well, use your chance. Try again. Where back was it? Okay. Take a cream too. Oh, is there any sugar? Right? Brown sugar. Just white. Thanks anyway, girl. I betrayed your trust, and I should have thought about the long-term effects this could have on us. I was in a really tight situation, and I punked out. I can admit that. I, I fucked up, and I punked out. Sean, I am truly sorry for that. I wish this was something I had the chance to do over, but all that I can do now is promise you my loyalty and honesty from here on out. There's even the smallest chance that you can forgive me and we can start fresh? You know what, Becca? Honestly, I can't do anything but respect you for that apology. That was big of you. To come over here and know how I felt about you and hit me with an apology, I'm sure that took a lot. And I appreciate you just giving enough of a care to try to make amends. Um, and if I'm being completely honest, I'm not even mad anymore. I uh, just really want us to move forward and, like you said, start fresh. Really? Sean, it feels great to hear you say that. I really am sorry and I want to work to rebuild our friendship. I'll do too, Becca. Let's, um, I don't know, let's try to grab lunch this week. Really? Yes, when? I'm down. Uh, let me check my calendar because this is my first week back and things are going to be hellish, so let's go with... Oh yeah, let's do never. What? Did you really think it was going to be as simple as you waltzing over here in your little nubby ass flats giving me a woe is me and 
we be cool again? Nah, we ain't hot, we ain't lukewarm, and we damn sure ain't cool. Why you look like you about to cry? You know that feeling that you feel right now like you thought you knew me type shit? Yeah, let that sink in. Because I did. Don't worry. I'm not going to start some personal vendetta against you or try to sabotage you in any way. I just, I cannot fuck with you. But be careful. If I have to see you too much, you're all in my face and shit, I might just snap. Tick and time bomb. Tick, tick, tick. Bye, bitch. Boy, what'd you do to her? She gonna be there crying like she was just sentenced to live a black life. Uh, I'm not worried about Becca, those boxy ass flats, mm -hmm. or her fake ass apology. You did not have to go in on her flats like that. Did you see them? Did I'm you? staying out of it, honestly. I just hope I don't run into Jackie on my first day back. Because if I do, ooh, yeah, I got something for that ass. Mm -hmm. What you got for her? Well, send two acts. Let's just say. It ain't no Joy Luck membership. It ain't no fortune in this cookie. <laughs> you yeah, know. Mm -mm. yeah. You're not Monique. You ain't some more. Okay. No mm -mm. Joy Luck? No, boo. You do? Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll let you know that. Okay, well, you have a great time. I gotta go. Okay. I don't care what you say. I cry myself. y'all it's time for our favorite weekly segment black and white so Kuzo, what's your white and black moment for the week man let me tell you i'm in a meeting the other day right and i use the word platitude 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 okay um care to use it in the sentence the article was filled with platitudes about the systematic character of the industrial economy oh okay true you still don't have a clue, do you? Nah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I use this word, right, and this white hoe, excuse me, this white woman said, my, my, Kiki, your vocabulary is rather extensive. I'm impressed. Ain't that some shit? And exactly what were you expecting me to say, missus? You do know that we speaks and talks real English, right? Exactly. Contrary to popular belief, most of us don't speak at Amigos' verbiage level. True. I feel you. I absolutely love those damn Amigos. So on fire. Oh, John, you're back. Hey, Tammy. <clears throat> Rachel. Good to have you back in the office. Lot to catch up on. Yeah, I like this new office place, huh? I know, it's fab, right? I mean, if you ask me, it's a little cold and bland, but you know, to each his own. I know, which is why we're going to move next week. See, that's why I like you, Sean. So real, so raw. <laughs> yeah, you know I me. Mean? So, how are things? We heard you had some family things you needed to tend to? Oh yeah, I do remember hearing that. And coincidentally, Cassie did too. Yeah, everything is fine. Thank you for asking, Becky. Oh, okay. Well, don't just stand in the doorway. Come have a seat. Rachel and I were just comparing notes from a client meeting and listening to my favorite urban podcast. Yeah, I heard. Um, did not know that you two were fans of MAD. Oh, oh absolutely. <laughs> That's how we know what you Millennials think of us. Translate it, Rachel. Um, tell me, what did you want to run past me? So, we had our client presentation while you were out. And? They liked it. Okay, well, it sounds like things worked out for the best. Mm, that's the thing. It didn't work out. I'm confused. I thought they liked it. Sean. Because they're in brand new clients for us, it's, we can't afford to just let them passively like our work. They need to love it. Exactly, Sean, which is why we're in a probation period now for a year. So within this year, it's our responsibility to please them through and through. Are you reaching a point? <laughs> our point is that we need you to review the notes that we took and revise the presentation. So now it's my turn to revise and be trusted. I thought that had become Becca's job. But it's whoever's job that I assign it to. So read the notes, make the changes. What Rachel is trying to say is that we could really use your expertise in this revision. Hey, these notes look oddly familiar to the idea that I had first go round. You should remember them because I think you told me something like they're too urban, right? 
Anyway, make the changes, okay? Sean, what we realize is that your ideas were unique because they truly speak to the African-American culture. And the par partnerships that you were considering make the most sense because that's where the black audience lives. <laughs> is something funny? Did I miss something? No, no, apparently it's just me that's missing. Missing everything. Um, look, I will take a look at these through and through, and I will uh, try to get you a, you know, an edit by end of day. So great. Have a good day, guys. Oh, jeez, Sean. Whatever you go by these days. I almost brought you with a little parting gift. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sure you remember that before you left, you were the one who was supposed to give the client presentation. I'm sure you also remember that you persistently refused to do so. And in turn, that put us in a bind to cover for you because you didn't want to do your job. Long story short, there are consequences for every action. And this is, well, your official write-up. A documentation citing your insubordinate actions. And there are other behaviors on there that we would like you to change within 30 days. Failure to do so will result in another citation, and three citations make you eligible for termination. So, just thought it was something that you would like to know. Let me get this straight. I'm being written up for not doing a project that I knew it failed, and indeed failed, um, but you expect me to go back and make the same revisions that I had there in the first place. Look, you can spin it any way that you want to, but fact of the matter is, you were insubordinate, and we do not tolerate that here. So take it home, sign it, and bring it back to me tomorrow morning. Okay? Okay. You could be my sugar honey peach on the regular. No bullshit, freak shit on the regular. We could have a party all night, baby. If you're gonna dance, do it to the sunlight. Down like sunlight. It's just me. You do anything you can. Casting. The movie is called American Actress. There ain't no flavor in that. <laughs> oh, serves them right. Maybe they can stand a BT line. Jonathan? Hello? Jonathan? Hello? Hey Cindy, it's, it's it's actually Ashlyn. It's 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 me. Oh, oh, <laughs> hey you. Um, what are you doing at that room? I'm, I was just talking to Jonathan. No, I just stopped by to see him actually. Oh, well, tell him next time to not be an ass and not just hang up when other company shows up. All right. Yeah. Okay, Cindy. Uh, you okay, Ash? I'm fine. Why do you ask? Well, you sound a little off. Hey, Cindy, how'd the casting for American Sweetheart go? Oh, uh, well, yeah, it, the casting went great. Beautiful, gorgeous actresses showed up, and I think we're gonna have a really nice project. Yeah, I'm interested to see how this turns out myself. Yeah, I can't wait for it. Um, hey, do we still have that meeting at 10.30 a.m. today? Yeah, the meeting's still on. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, no worries. Um, we can just catch up then, all right? All right. Okay, see you at one. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Hey, what's up, Ash, man? How you doing? Hey, how's yeah. it going? Good, man, you good? Yeah, I just uh, ran out of paper, actually. Paper, man? Yeah. We got a whole mail room of paper. What are you... Yeah, I um, got to go. I'll catch you later, right? Hi, right, man. Something is going on. I'm telling you. What are you talking about? Okay, so you know how I've been out the office for a whole month, right? Yes. Well, 
I came back this morning, I logged in, and I only have 10 new emails. Only 10, and I've been gone a whole month, Sean. Okay, yeah, I thought about that too, but explain this morning. I was in the office just all morning scrolling on Facebook, waiting to see Jackie, or Brian for the matter. You haven't seen either of them? Not even in your passing? No, that's what I'm telling you. Something must be up. I don't know what it is. Oh, shit, hold on. Jackie! Ooh, How are you going to me in? Hold on. Jackie! Jackie! Are you serious right now? Cassie, what is it that you want? What I want is for you to explain to me why I just had to chase you down the hall, girl. What is the issue, Jackie? I just don't know what we'd have to talk about. Okay, um, all right. So we are in a position that requires me to report to you as my boss, unfortunately. So I don't, if that's not good enough, girl, I don't know what it is. You haven't spoken to Sam, have you? No, I haven't talked to Sam. What are you talking about? Go talk to Sam. Jackie, I don't want to speak to Sam. I want to speak to you. Okay, bitch. <laughs> okay. Sam! Oh, shit. Cassie. I was actually going to invite you for a meeting this morning. Um. Sam, can you put the pasta down, please? What is going on? Have I been fired? Well, no, not fired. Not, no. <laughs> okay, well, it feels that way. Jackie, she's refusing to speak to me. Uh, she told me I need to speak to HR, and, oh, I haven't gotten any emails all morning. Look, I was trying to explain what the next steps were going to be in the meeting, but you ran out. What next steps? Sam, please just explain to me what is going on. Look, I am trying to create a peaceful work environment. It's one of my jobs as HR to increase morale and make sure there's peace amongst the employees. So when you and Jackie had your little run in, I made an executive decision and I removed you from the situation. So I was fired. No, not fired. Not fired. Reassigned. Reassigned. Okay, and what does that mean? Well, it means we removed you from one account and we put you on another one. To keep the peace. Okay. And no one thought to ask me how I might feel about this? Well, I just thought it would be best. I thought you'd be happy. Now you're no longer at odds with Jackie. That is beyond the point. Sam, please put the pasta down. She's about to take a bite. Someone should have spoke to me about it. Well, what's done is done, okay? So you can make the best of the situation or you can continue to gripe. I am here now to answer any questions you might have. Now? Oh, okay, great. That's, thanks. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Yes, can you tell me what account I have been reassigned to? Oh, yes, you will be reporting to Rachel Ludwig and she's with Wolf Pictures. Wait, is that... Is that Sean's boss? Yeah. Oh shit. This week's episode featured music by I got a feeling that we got a chemistry came with us on your mind.